Hello there. In this tutorial I will show you how you can create a simple image positioning tool like I did here. Just to demonstrate to you. Yeah, it's something where you can easily move your picture around and see where it looks the best and yeah. And then you can uh, just write down those both coordinates and you will see the picture appears right there if you use it. And I will show this method with a plugin. So the plugin shows the x and y coordinates here and updates them directly. The other method, if you don't want to use plugins, I also include uh, a little uh, section here to do it without the plugin and that you simply hit space or return and you will see a message box with the current position. And to do this, we simply create an event and call it show coordinates. So it's basically, so it shows the coordinates and the image. So its name is maybe a bit confusing, but it doesn't matter. So we use show picture <coughs> and we select the picture we want to show. And in this case, I will just take this one. I will set the origin to center, which I didn't in the example that I showed. So the coordinates will get displayed at the center. So this is uh, better if you move a bit to the top, you won't see the numbers anymore, so it's better to center this. And we <coughs> designated to variables which I already have named here, so uh, image x and image y, so you need two free variables. And show this picture, we also need to set this to parallel. Now we use the plugin command for the text picture plugin, and here we simply write our x coordinate down, so x is the variable five and y is the variable number six. So this keeps getting updated and shown on the screen and now we need to show a picture, a blank one, above the other picture and this blank picture also will go to those coordinates. And now this picture shows this text here, which this is what the plugin does and it makes things a bit easier. So we are done with this part and now we need to do one more thing. We need to check each direction and move the image accordingly. So if we press down, the image should move down and yeah, so we uh, check for a button, and the first one is down, so I use this. So if down is pressed, we, we change a variable, and we use image y and need to add one. So whenever we press down or hold it, then image y gets added one. And uh, so the variable uh, image y gets added one and uh, the image as we did here before will be updated to those coordinates which we get here or set here. And now we can copy this and paste it down below and change this to left. And to make the image move to the left, we change the x coordinate and subtract it by one. Now the next direction is the right key 
So if we press this, then MHX needs to we need to add one to MHX. I think that is the right way to say it. And for the last one we also copy this and paste it down and use up. And to move it up, we need to change the image uh, Y position and subtract 1. And now it works with the plugin, or it should work. If I didn't forget something. Yo, I forget. So let's close this. So we need to set this, of course, to a parallel process. And hit OK and save and now you can see that there is a picture on top and or its coordinates are zero zero and if i move you can also see the picture move so and you get the coordinates so if you enter these two coordinates the image will appear where it is right now to check uh, to do it without the plugin so if you don't use want to use a plugin or, or on the console version, you can delete those two or don't use those two. So simply let it show the image here and create a new event. Also set it to parallel process. And we can call it, yeah, show coordinate, show, yeah coordinates yeah I, yeah it sounds like the same like the first one but I don't I don't care uh, so we set this to parallel and here we can check for an input from the player so if button OK is pressed then you should show a text which says X is variable 5 in my case and Y is variable six here it's all right okay so it's a parallel process and after this uh, we need to wait a few seconds so we don't i don't know how long we need but it took half a second maybe or maybe we should put it right inside here and see if that works I haven't tried it before. So if you move it around now and press space, it says the coordinates. And if you hit space again, it goes away. And you can keep holding it even if you are to a wall. And if I press space now again, you will see it shows the coordinates. And that's it for this tutorial. And have fun with it.